Dr. Taryn Pfeiffer has known what she's wanted to do since she was five years old. Growing up on her father's hog farm, she always was at his side learning about animals and how to best care for them. So it was no surprise when she pursued becoming a large animal vet. Taryn is now best known for her authentic, straightforward Facebook videos called Farm Vet Fridays. She shares her daily life as a vet, whether it's performing an autopsy on a pig or chatting with 4-H kids at the state fair. Now I know the misconception is that these hormones are detrimental to people or they're unsafe, but the truth is the detectable level in a one pound thing of hamburger meat that a implanted steer had was actually about seven nanograms. Now joining us via Skype is Dr. Taryn Pfeiffer. How you doing, Taryn? I'm good, how are you? Good, now you're a veterinarian from where in Illinois? I am in Northern Illinois, so my home base is out of Polo. Polo, that sounds like a sport with horses. <laughs> like Marco Polo? <laughs> Marco. Okay, <laughs> I've interviewed on, you on my podcast, and I remember you saying that you knew what you wanted to do your whole life. That is correct. My dad had a feral to finish swine operation, and I was always out there helping him and asking the vet questions from a really, really young age. So even when they were out there posting the the pigs or whatever now it, maybe we should get these terms correct before we go any further uh, what is a post and what is a necropsy i use them interchangeably okay but that's basically <laughs> an autopsy on an animal right yes okay so you were out there as a kid as young as five years old when the veterinarian was posting the pigs and you didn't mind no, I really didn't. I'm not sure how I got such a strong stomach, but I'm okay. I was okay with it at that point. Says a lot about you, Tara. <laughs> you ever seen that show, Dexter? You know, I haven't. I haven't uh, watched it. It might hit a little close to home. <laughs> <laughs> so how See, long have you been a veterinarian? Uh, it'll be five years in June. Okay, do you like it? I love it. So what are you mainly dealing with? Are you dealing mainly with the large animals? Or are you still seeing cats and dogs? What do you do? Um, so it's changed a little bit since the start of January. I do a small animal just one day a week and the rest is all large animals. So mainly cattle and pigs. Okay. You've also done something on social media that's kind of unique. Can you describe what Farm Vet Fridays are? Uh, sure. So Farm Vet Friday is just a one or two minute clip of whatever I'm doing on that day. Um, tries to educate the public a little bit about what veterinary life is and also what we're doing within the industry as well. We watched a little bit of one where you're actually putting the, the hormone injection into beef and you describe it. Are you afraid that people are going to see that and not understand it and actually use it against the industry? Well, I think that's kind of the whole goal of these small, short videos is to try and describe to people that it's not harmful, that our meat is still safe. Um, and I think if you get somebody out there in the social media that they trust, you seem to have pretty favorable responses. And I've seen that so far. That's what I like about what you're doing. And there's a few other veterinarians out there that are doing the same. You're not mm -hmm. sugarcoating it. You're basically just putting it out there as it is. How important do you think it is that people see how their food is made as far as like animal production without a filter? I think it's the right way to go about it. I think um, normal people or everyday people are farther and farther away from agriculture each day. So I think we have to take that initiative and get out there and show them exactly what's going on. Are you gonna keep going with these Farm Vet Fridays? I'm sure gonna try as long as I don't run out of ideas. Okay, and you've been posting them mainly on Facebook, right? Yep. Don't you know all the cool kids are on YouTube these days? <laughs> I'm not very tech savvy. We've talked about this. You're a veterinarian. You should be able to figure this stuff out. You know the reproductive system of a cow. You should be able to figure out YouTube. I know. I know. It's the timing thing, too. It's not doing enough time to do all this stuff. <laughs> How busy is a veterinarian? Uh, it's fairly seasonal. Um, like right now, I think we're hitting like the calm before the storm. Um, I haven't had too many emergency calls. I would say I've only had like two or three last week, so not terrible. Uh, but once calving hits, it's, it's going to be pretty, pretty significant and pretty serious. Okay. What do you want like a livestock producer to know about veterinarians? Because generally all we do is call you when we have a problem and then complain when we get the bill. <laughs> 
Um, I would say that most of us generally really do love what we're doing and, and we are there with the best intentions at heart. Um, but we also like working with you too. So the more welcoming you are to us and, and even feel free to call us. We're very willing to give our advice and our two cents, even if you don't follow it. <laughs> okay. So where can people find you on social media? Um, it's on my uh, regular name. So it's just Taryn Pfeiffer. Um, and every Friday we'll have a new post. Okay, Taryn, thank you so much for being on. And hey, Rough Rider forever. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. This is one ticked off Italian farmer. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here because I don't speak his language, but half the fun is guessing. They told me I couldn't wear a tank top. He's wearing a tank top, and I've got to wear these blue overalls. Blue overalls make me look hefty. <laughs> Why don't these farm hats have flat bills? This one has a curved bill. And as a millennial, I demand a flat bill. We think we invented them. Because we haven't watched any 1970s truckers movies. Planning conditions never trump planning dates. I don't care what the calendar says. If the ground is too cold, we shouldn't go. Don't even get me started on singulation versus population. He's ticked off. <laughs> I think what this guy is saying is apparently Ep Epstein did kill himself. <laughs> Imagine being this guy's auger cart driver. We're, <laughs> we're gonna keep this video around. So you tell us what you think he's saying. If you have an interesting or entertaining video or picture and you think the world should see us, drop us a line, www.sharkfarmer.com. While you're there, check out What The Farm Podcast and the one that started it all, the Shark Farmer Podcast. Catch me Monday through Friday at Rural Radio Sirius XM channel 147 at 4 p.m. Eastern, 3 Central. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.